Hello, folks. Welcome to a brand new episode, a very special episode today, a wild card. We're listening to something from Korea on Smoke em If You Got Them. The premise of the show is real simple. We keep it 100 here. you got to have two numbers ready for this album we're about to listen to. We're going to smoke one. We're going to listen to this whole record, talk about it, flip the record over, light up another one, talk about it some more. Now, the man with a plan that can figure it all. Yes, he can. Oxford. Oxford Doan. Look at this. The Oracle of Oxford County, Mr. Jim That's Mark right. Carlton. That's my name. Yeah. That's my name. And today we're listening to Shin Jung Hyun and the Men. It's a lie. Shin Jung Hyun and the Men. Yeah, the the, uh, the, the, this, the way that you're saying this is so uh, you've been practicing all day on this, aren't you? Shin Jung Hyun. But right. um, nineteen. I've heard seventy two, and I've also heard seventy three. Folks, this is uh, from Korea and pro- progressive rock in Korea. Not really, uh, doesn't go well together. Not not very popular. Well, they're not very progressive, especially in these times. So, K-pop is powerful for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, well, you know, should we just go and listen? But I it? found one. I did find one. Of course you did. I, I didn't doubt it for a second. So let's do it, folks. All right, let's, let's do it. Smoke it. I love this album. Why does it sound like uh, French chamber pop music? These these I have no answers for you, but uh, this man actually got put in jail for playing music. So what? Yeah, for this That's for us. this beautiful chamber soft pop baroque rock shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one what of the songs, if, Beautiful Rivers got? and Mountains, on okay. here is uh, very controversial in Korea. Just because he was Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's not, that's not that's on, on this one. This is Beautiful Country. But that song I just said, um, that one got him thrown in jail. Not it, was like a, it was against like the military like dictatorship that took over the country. Another recurring theme here on Spoken We Got, and we, we got a lot of people that uh, have a lot of things to say about people getting mistreated and some bullshit. That's really, really interesting. Uh, so this is a compilation album, right? Well, so, again, since I don't speak Korean and there's just not much information about it, Yeah, I, I see it listed as a reissue, a compilation. Uh, a CD, but then also I see it like as a full album from '73 listed. So is is the so I don't idea, know. So is the main idea here that yeah the the main player Hyun what you call what's his name Shin Jung Hyun. Now the, the thing is, this music was made around 1972, 1973. We do know that. Yeah, and it and it's very much I mean, it sounds awesome. super of the time. It, it's more psychedelic rock than prog, but. This is so funny. So when I tell you that there is on the internet in terms of English speaking information, uh, in the history of Korea, there's five progressive rock bands. Wow. Same era? No, three, uh, two, I'm sorry, two old ones. This guy, one other one that's not even as like, to me, this is more psychedelic than progressive. Definitely more psych rock than than prog rock. Right. The other one is not even like psychedelic or progressive as this one, right? And then there's one band in like the 80s that's like sort of keyboard driven. Yeah. And then uh, there's two like sort of like math rock bands from like 2010-ish. Yeah. See, this is the reason why uh, when you uh, asked me what country I was uh, trying to think about something that you know, never not any progressive not the, rock music ever from. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, not the not the stomp you, but I mean, this this is this was good because even even though it's not uh, the type of uh, instrumentation or usage of what we've been hearing uh, for the for the past two seasons, uh, it's it's cool. It's different. It has its own flavor, even though it's trying to imitate uh, Western music. You know, I thought the guitar playing was actually uh, pretty. Unique, to tell you the truth. The psychedelic guitar playing is great. The quality of the sound is excellent. You know, like everything sounds pristine. Um, and yeah, I and the dude was thrown in jail for his music. Like that's crazy. Correct. 
and it's not offensive at all. Like if you're listening with us, it's just not offensive at all. But this is now this is the other crazy part. The 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 songs we're talking about they're they're super long tunes. Yes, nine minutes, like twenty minutes, and ten minutes, I think. Yeah, yeah, and and uh, I think that's what makes them psychedelic at the time. Well, the sound, like the organ, is psychedelic. There's lots of whirly, lots of B three well, organ. Um, yeah, it remi- it reminded me it reminded me a lot of Marianne Faithful's like backup band for like her first couple of records out on Apco in the '60s. You know, that big chamber pop music sound, um, a little bit more drugged out. You know, it's a little bit more Texas and less London, but uh, I, you know, I thought it was great. I thought of considering the, the backstory here, like that's crazy good. Uh, for those of you joining us now, uh, I'm going to make you do the name thing again because I can't do it as good as you do. Shin Jung Hyun and the men. It's a lie. And Shin Jung Hyun uh, is considered the godfather of rock in Korea. His first album came out in 62. Wow. And like, so he, and he had like an old band, like he went through the whole phases, right? And so then, like, obviously, psychedelic, everything hit. And then he went this way for a little while, obviously. But the I mean, guitar playing was really good. Cool. And, like, yeah, the, yeah, I mean, his guitar playing had to be good to be, like, to have, you know, a decades-long worth of work. You got to be real good at guitar. Or the first one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, but, again, like, this guitar playing is, is a little bit off-kilter from regular guitar at the time in terms of rock playing yeah it has a little how would you describe it you know like Mm, well it's not necessarily jazz but it has some outside notes right right taking some chances that guys were not taking um but he's not so well uh, let me backtrack that guys that were taking sort of experimental slash weird uh chances in rock were usually because they weren't technically proficient. They're sort of like freaking out slash whatever. Making noise. Getting lucky basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Usually guys that are a little bit now I'm not saying like shredders, but technically proficient, they're they're not going to like really go outside the box. You know, they learn the box, so they ain't gonna <laughs> they ain't leaving it. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, well, I fix clapped, them that ain't broke. Captain uh page, whoever, you know, fill in the blank. This guy is sort of like the Clapton Page school, like the blues rock sort of thing, obviously. But he has these little outside notes and ideas that are not that they don't have. And a lot, yeah. I just don't hear a lot. Of, I was thinking about it today. I didn't hear a lot of guys, or I'm thinking early 70s rock playing that were sort of remind me of it. Yeah. And it's refreshing, right? Because especially in these long uh, pieces, uh, it, it it gives you, it just allows you for a little Those bit more breathing room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Breathing room, you know, give you another sense of urgency and energy, and uh, and it's cool. You know, it's cool to sit outside the fringe and you know poke fun at it. You can tell that this was a CD because of how how they the track being nine minutes, like almost like it's almost ten, like nine fifty six, and the next one being twenty two fifteen, the next one eleven thirty two. Oh, definitely. This is some somebody picked it up from somebody's CD and put it together. So, uh, this is the best we could do, folks, today, and it, it's great. Yeah, this is a great uh, this is a great uh, wild card sort of choice. This one, uh, I got. I was really stoked about. It. I was not waiting. Uh, I was not waiting for a quick reply, and you know, you hit me. You hit me one two punch right there in the corner. But we both came out victorious up in this month. No one, no one lost in today's journey, folks. No one lost, except for our composer who lost time in jail for writing a song about a beautiful country. Correct, correct. But hey, it's not can't a win them all. Can't do that. Can't do that. All mm. right, well, as I look oh. at the time and running out of it, you want to tell the folks some good shit? Mm, yes. Uh, folks, we're going to go for the first time tomorrow into the land of of jazz rock fusion oh shit so i gotta get some real dress pants on and shit for this one yeah the playing and and i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna be 
it's going to be experimental. All right. Uh, um, it's going to come from America because uh, a lot of the best jazz came from America because they had black guys that could play jazz and other countries. There you go. There you go. See, we do it here with actions, not just fucking words. Well, I'm stoked for this journey. Uh, I can't wait for it to uh, drop and uh, and go and handle some business while listening to some music and then sharing it with you fine folks here on Smoke Em If You Got Em. So please, folks, uh, tell your friends. And if you can find, here's my challenge to anyone out there in the world, Find me a better progressive rock band uh, album from Korea than this one. Hit me, please. Hit me up. And don't, I just told you about the other bands. Those bands, I already look at them. I looked at the other four progressive rock bands in Korea that I could find. This was the best one. (laughs) So, yeah, good luck with that, everybody. I I can't, I cannot do the the search engine in in Korean. So, that could be a big uh, step there, too. That's true. Let, let's see. Let's see what countries show up uh, on the other end. Um, but for now, I'm the Oracle of Oxford County. I still think I know the most. So until I'm proven wrong, hey, that's no bullshit on there. I'm right here backing you up, brother. We'll see you guys tomorrow with some uh, jazz rock fusion here on Smoke 'em. If you got 'em, peace.